hello guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm gonna show you how to make this beautiful tote bag it's a flower bag and very easy to make so friends to make this flower granny square you will need three color so i'm gonna take this three color you can decide your own color and you will also need a hook two hook okay so I'm gonna use 4 millimeter and 3.5 millimeter hook. We will also need scissor and a darning needle. So that's all. Now let's get started. And I'm using 4 millimeter hook now. So first, for the first row, you just have to make a magic ring. So just make a magic ring. then now inside this magic ring we have to make eight single crochet okay so just make eight single crochet so I'm done with my eight single crochet so just pull this short yarn short string and close this circle now make a slip stitch into this first single crochet stitch okay just make a slip stitch done with the slip stitch now chain three one two and three so chain three is also count as a stitch okay so now into the same stitch where we chain 3, we will make a double crochet, okay? Just make a double crochet into the same stitch. So now we have two double crochet, that means, okay? So into this next stitch also, we will have to make two double crochet. So now we have to make two two double crochet into each of the stitches okay into each of the stitches then here to here to end in every stitch you just have to make two double crochet till you reach the end so i'm done with row two also now we have 16 double crochet okay after we end row two now we have to make a slip stitch into this chain three stitch okay so one two and three here just make a slip stitch into the chain three stitch and then now we'll change our yarn okay now we'll make our flower okay so i'm gonna take this orange yarn And just attach the yarn like this and chain 3 1 2 3 remember chain 3 also count as is this now into the same stitch we'll make two double crochet okay into the same stitch where we chain 3 you have to make two double crochet Then, then chain one and skip one into the next stitch so here we have to make three double crochet okay like this chain one okay, so we have done chain one and then make a double crochet make three double crochet so keep repeating the same pattern make three double crochet chain one and skip one stitch and into this next also make three du double crochet okay repeat till the end so done now we we have to make a slip stitch so before that chain one 
and into this chain three stitch you have to make a slip stitch okay one two and this is our third stitch done now we'll attach our next yarn okay now you can cut off the green yarn now we will work into these stitches okay with the stitch that we skip we have to work into these stitches okay so just attach your yarn here like how i'm doing and chain seven okay two three four five six and seven one two three four five six seven done now make a double crochet into this next stitch okay straight three then with double crochet now chain four again one two three and four then make a double crochet into this next stitch okay and chain four again so this is the pattern that you have to repeat for this row okay just keep repeating the same thing till the end so i have reached the end and this is how it looks now we have to chain four one two three four and then make a slip stitch into this third stitch okay so one two three and into this third stitch make a slip stitch here okay so now for row five we have to take this orange yarn now and then chain three one two three remember chain 3 also count as a stitch so this is our fast double crochet that means okay so into this next stitch we will make double crochet here okay double crochet increase that means we will make two double crochet into this stitch okay so just make two double crochet one and two and into this next we will make one double crochet So the pattern is one double crochet, two double crochet, and again one double crochet. Okay, and then chain two. So now for the next also we have to make the same thing. Okay, we have to make double crochet into this double crochet stitch, one double crochet here, and into this next we will make two double crochet. and into this next one double crochet so this is the pattern that we have to repeat for this row okay so just continue doing the same thing till the end of the row and i'll meet you at the end so i have reached the end this is how it looks now Again, we have to make a slip stitch. So before that, chain two and make a slip stitch. One, two, three. Into this third stitch, make a slip stitch. Now we'll go into the white one. Now take this white yarn and then chain three. One, two, and three. So chain three also count as a stitch. Now into the same stitch where we chain 3 we have to make a double crochet here okay so make a double crochet then again chain for 1 2 3 and 4 and into this next stitch also we have to make two double crochet that means okay so yarn over 
and go into this white stitch and make two double crochet then with two double crochet again chain four and go into the next stitch so this is the pattern for row six okay so just keep repeating the same thing so i'm done now so we'll end row six also with a slip stitch so into this chain three stitch make a slip stitch one two three make a make a slip stitch and then leave it now take the next yarn and then chain three one two three chain three is our double crochet one double crochet okay now into this next stitch we will make two double crochet double crochet increase we will make here okay we'll make two double crochet into the same stitch So we have two more stitch left here make one one double crochet okay make one double crochet here and into this next also make one double crochet and chain two and go to the next now here also make one double crochet and into this next make two double crochet into the same stitch and one double crochet here and into this next also one double crochet so done this is the pattern that you have to follow for this row okay just make one double crochet and then increase and then one one into each of the stitches okay Keep repeating the same thing till the end of this row. So I've reached the end. Now again make a slip stitch. Now for row 8 just chain 1. Okay. And make a single crochet into the same stitch where we chain 1. And then skip this next stitch and into this next stitch make 5 double crochet. one done again two three four and five into the same stitch i've done five double crochet now I skip this one stitch and into this next stitch make a single crochet and then chain two and move into the next and make a single crochet into the first stitch and then skip one and into this next make five double crochet into the same stitch so this is the pattern that you have to follow for this row okay so keep repeating the same thing till you end this row So I have reached the end of row 8 now so chain 2 and make a slip stitch into this first single crochet stitch okay make a slip stitch and then chain 1 and now you can cut off this yarn okay now for row 9 take the white yarn and then chain 3 1 2 3 so this is our one double crochet okay 
so into this next stitch we'll make two double crochet okay into this next stitch i hope you can see make two double crochet here then now we can say that in total we have three double crochet okay cause chain three also count as a stitch now you don't have to chain now we we'll work into this back row okay so now just yarn over and make five double crochet at the back So done with five double crochet. Now again have to make one double crochet into this first stitch and into this next stitch we have to make two double crochet. Okay, so make one double crochet and then two double crochet. And then again at the back side make five double crochet so this is the pattern that you have to repeat for row nine okay two three four and five then with five double crochet now again repeat the same thing here you end this row okay make one double crochet and into this next make two double crochet i'll meet you at the end so i've reached the end of the row now we just have to make a slip stitch into this first stitch into the chain three stitch okay just make a slip stitch now we will start forming our corners okay so we make our four corners for that now chain one and make six single crochet okay six single crochet make a single crochet into the same stitch where we chain one okay into the first stitch make one single crochet okay now we have two single crochet so like this make six single crochet okay three four five and six so i've made six single crochet and then make half double crochet into the next is this one half double crochet and into this next stitch also make one half double crochet that means in total we have made two half double crochet okay so into this next stitch make one double crochet okay make one double crochet and into this next stitch make two double crochet okay into the same stitch make two double crochet this will be our corner stitch okay two and then chain two and then again into the same stitch make two more double crochet okay make two more double crochet and then now into this next stitch make one double crochet we have to repeat the same thing again and into this next stitch make one half double crochet and into this next make one half double crochet and then make three single crochet one two and three so this is the pattern that we have to follow for this row okay make six single crochet and two half double crochet and one double crochet and make two double crochet chain two and two double crochet into the same space and again make one double crochet and two half double crochet and three single crochet okay like this and again count six single crochet from here okay one two three four 
three, four, five, and six. And now keep repeating the same thing. Okay, half double crochet here, and here also half double crochet. Here one double crochet, and into this next make two double crochet. Chain two and again two double crochet. So keep repeating the same pattern. I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay. So now at the end you should have three stitches for three single crochet. And now make a slip stitch into this first single crochet stitch. And then now chain one and make three half double crochet okay one and into this next also one and into the third stitch also one so make three half double crochet and make now from the next stitch make eight double crochet okay eight double crochet two done three Seven and eight, and now we have reached the corner stitch. So into this corner stitch, make two double crochet, and then chain two, and again into the same stitch, make two double crochet. And from now on again make eight double crochet one two three four five six Seven and eight. Eight double crochet done. Again, make three half double crochet. One, two, and three. So this is the pattern that you have to follow for this row. Okay, and then make a slip stitch, chain one, and cut off the yarn. Okay. Keep doing the same thing till you reach the end and then make a slip stitch and cut off the yarn okay so now our granny square is ready okay so for like this you have to create seven more granny square okay so for one panel you will need four now you have to arrange them like this and sew all the square together with the help of darning needles okay okay I will show you how to sew them together now to sew them together take your darning needle and then take, take two panel okay I'm going to join from the right side only okay so take the corners this okay from both the side you can see how I'm doing so like this you have to join them together Take these loops and from here take the other one. Okay. So like this you have to join all the panels together okay I'll meet you when I'm done
so like this we have to join all the square together for both the front and the back panel okay so for the side part just make a slip knot and chain 16 okay make a slip knot and chain 16 one two three so this is my 16 chain now turn okay now turn and make a single crochet from the second stitch okay i'm taking the center stitch make a single crochet that means by the end of this row you will have 15 single crochet okay so we have reached the end now chain one for row two now from row two to row four make a single crochet okay i'll meet you at the end of row four So I'm done with row 4. For row 5 and row 6 now attach the white yarn. Just attach like this. And then chain 1. Turn your ball. And now just make a single crochet all the way back. Okay. So row 5 and row 6 will make a single crochet with white yarn. Okay. So done with row 6 now for row 7 and row 8 attach the orange yarn again now for row 9 and 10 use green yarn okay attach the green yarn Now repeat from row 1 to row 10 15 times. Friends, when you repeat 15 times, you will get 150 rows, isn't it? And I'm now at my 148 rows. I have two more rows to make, which should be of green color, isn't it? But I am not going to use green color, I'm going to continue with the same color. Okay, two more rows. With the same color so I'm done with 150 rows now we'll work at the corner part okay so just we are going to make single crochet all the way back till here and then we'll make slip stitch 15 slip stitch here and then again you have to make single crochet all the way back till here and then make slip stitch again and cut off the yarn okay so now just chain one and then make a single crochet 150 single crochet okay So make single crochet and slip stitch all the way back till here okay. So once you are done just arrange both the panel together and then now start the joining.
so once you are done with the joining now with your 3.5 millimeter hook attach the yarn at this chain this and chain 2 now from here make 51 double crochet okay make 51 double crochet up to here and here make 16 double crochet and again 51 and again 16 double crochet okay so keep doing double crochet till you reach the end okay just remember the numbers that you have to keep in mind so here I have got my 51 double crochet now I will have to make 16 double crochet and again 51 and then 16 okay so like this you will have to make 134 double crochet okay by the end of this row you will get 134 stitches so once you reach the end again make again chain two and make one row of double crochet okay just simple double crochet and then after that now we will make our strap and for that we will have to make we'll have to count 36 okay so just from here take 10 from here take 10 stitches and then plus 16 and then here plus 10 then it will become 36 isn't it so we'll make 36 double crochet okay attach your yarn chain 2 and into the same stitch make double crochet remember you have to make 36 double crochet okay I'll meet you when I'm done now once you get your 36 stitches now you have to decrease the chain 2 and then turn now how to make a double crochet decrease just yarn over go through the same stitch here we chain 2 bring out the yarn now we have three loops yarn over go through two and then again yarn over go through the next stitch and bring out the yarn now yarn over pull through two we have three loops now so yarn over and pull through all the three so this is how we make a double crochet decrease okay so from now you just have to make the normal double crochet and at the last two stitches again you have to decrease okay so like this continue till you reach row it okay till you reach row it decrease from both the side okay and from row 9 to row 38 do a normal double crochet and then from row 39 to row 45 again increase okay so to increase you just have to make double crochet two times from both side okay like at first like we have done decrease here while decreasing we have used two stitches isn't it so to increase you have to make two double crochet into the same stitch okay but only from from both the ends only you have to decrease or increase in center you don't have to do anything okay so this is how it looks after row 8 now you don't have to do anything from row 9 to row 38 just do a normal double crochet into all the 22 stitches okay and then once you reach row 39 to increase just make two double crochet into the same stitch like this ok 
okay at the beginning and at the end make sure to make two double crochet from row 39 to row 45 okay and then cut a long tail and sew the ends and once you are done just join them together and that's all for today's tutorial so thank you for watching do subscribe my channel tata bye bye